Hello, it's Maive. Welcome back to my channel. Today I'll be showing you how I made Picket, my favourite out of all the beasts from Fantastic Beasts and where to find them. All the materials I used will be listed in the description. I started by making an armature from wire to support the clay. I bent the wire in half, bent the legs outwards and twisted what will be the upper part of the body. I always use a bit more wire than I need because it's easy to trim the excess rather than having to add more. I had to add another leg because Pickett has three legs and I used a thinner wire twist it together because I had run out of the silver one. I added the arms in the same way, making one a lot longer than the other. At this point I began to pose the armature. I would suggest referring to pictures of Pickett to get an idea on how to pose him. Next I started wrapping the wire in green polymer clay. I simply made snakes of clay which I slit open a bit like hot dog buns so that wrapping them around the wire was a lot easier and quicker. By making snakes of clay you're also using even amounts everywhere. So wrap the wire and blend all the joints. I didn't cover the wire all at once because that would have made it difficult to sculpt and hold it at the same time so I started with the head and torso. I try to make the clay thinner at the ends by pinching and pulling it towards the ends. Next I began to shape the face with a dotting tool. I added more clay to the eye area. I made space for the eyes and added two pre-baked balls of black clay. And I bonded them together using Fimo liquid. Then I used my fingers to close the clay around the eyes. I wanted to recreate the moment where Pickett sticks his tongue out at Newt, so I opened up his mouth with a flat tool. Next I added a rounded piece of clay to make the tongue. I added more clay for the cheeks and blended. I baked him for 10 minutes. I moved on to the legs and added clay in the same way as before. To bond it to the baked clay I used liquid clay. Now that the clay is more or less in place, I start giving it a bit more shape. I want the ends to be as thin as they can be, so I pull and pinch the clay towards the ends and tear away any excess. Then I use a variety of tools to mark some lines, especially around the joints. Then I moved on to the next leg.
Have a look round and add clay in areas that need to be thicker or remove it where you think there's too much. I baked him again for 10 minutes. Once cool I started working on the arms. I added another piece of wire wrapped in clay to make the third finger. I post the fingers, trim the excess wire and close the clay at the ends. Then I did the same with the other fingers. I baked him again for 10 minutes. Once cool I add clay where needed and to create details. I cut the leaves out of a sheet of translucent green clay, traced some lines and added texture with a toothbrush. I brushed a few more liquid on the wire and added the leaves. I baked him again for 10 minutes. If you can still see the wire underneath the leaves, you can either paint them or cover them with clay. To paint him I used acrylic paints. I used a light beige colour to paint the extremities and to create highlights.
Next I applied a medium brown shade to a third of the extremities to the joints or to create some shadows. Lastly, I applied a darker brown on the ends. I added highlights and shadows to the leaves as well. I applied a wash of brown around the mouth for more contrast and definition, blotting the excess with a tissue. I did the same around the eyes. Then I glazed him and little picket was complete. I really hope you liked this tutorial, give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you did. Thank you all so much for watching and I'll see you all next time. Bye! Ciao ciao!